We don't hate. Uh, what? I what? Think what? Was, well, he was just a spectator, right? Pull. Like, it doesn't really matter what's going on with a, a spec. So, yeah, I'll do bottom left team this again. So this is the third match in a best of three in the loser's bracket for the Star Battle X tournament. Um, so far the teams have gone one and one. Lots of nukes flying in both games. The last two games have each been an hour long. So these teams now have been playing against each other for two straight hours. In addition to this, they tended to, from what I understand, they had really slow lobbies before this, so there, there would be like an hour-long game followed by a half-hour lobby. So they have effectively been playing against each other for three hours at this point. Um, Alright, so we have... Uh, in the bottom left, White Zombie going Range Missile, Tech going 3-2, Raven going Imp, Colossus going this 1-1-1 one, one, one build that he seems to like, uh, Pseudo going uh, three rockets, and Lokuaz going side lane Leviathan. And uh, you want to do the, the top left? Uh, yeah, uh, in top left we have Pornexus on Voidray again, we're starting with Nova, we have um, Bled on Colossus, we have someone on Raven, uh, Ghost on Raven, uh, starting with EMP, Thunder on Frigate, starting with two lasers, we have Marshall X starting with uh, one armor and one laser on the destroyer. And uh, Bane starting with two lasers and two rockets on the uh, battle cruiser. Yeah, so I guess the, the one kind of curious one here is the two lasers on the uh, the Thunder. I mean, you know, it's, it's just two upgrades, so it's not going to make a, a gargantuan difference in DPS, but especially like going up against a three armor. Um, Dreadnought, like those lasers are going to do zero damage. So it's yeah, and here you also see the difference. The top destro destroyer from uh, Marshall X, he started with the 1,000 uh, more health up, and Technazoo started just with more armor, uh, some Gatlings, and um, I think more speed. No, they both have the same speed. There isn't much difference in the up. So just he has two Gatlings and three armor. No, two just. Three Gatlings and two armor more than the Marshal X. Marshal X is uh, way more life. Yep. Well, actually, they're about even on life at the moment, just because uh, Marshal took some more damage. But so White has ten range. Thunder has ten range. How does Thunder end up with one more upgrade than, than White here? Oh, because Thunder uh, sacrificed a speed upgrade, that, that makes sense, of course. Going back. We're at 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Almost no one has any farm except for Bane. Oh, so that's what you're saying. Bane? The battle cruiser. Uh, is a sub, I guess. He was not in the last game, if I remember correctly. Although... Started with two speed. Way too much speed. He has two missiles and two lasers. He does no damage. He has one range. Yeah, you see Bane, he has two missiles and two lasers. Well, I mean, on, on the other... But yeah, and, and then during all this, Pronexus has been down here back farming for just... Uh, a few minutes now, or um, or about a minute now, um, and so he's gonna warp out now. But he did kind of, it, it's kind of not exactly a push out, but he kind of lures the red team, and they're like, okay, we're well, we're gonna go back now, I guess. It accelerates their back just a little bit, so they don't stay in farm quite as long. Managed to get more farm than the other team. It's very good actually for them. They have the Leviathan, already level five tens. Locusts uh, and 160 farms. So we, uh, he, uh, he already bu bought um, level seven life ups. So he has a ton of life for a five minute game. And he go back by like rapid reg regeneration and tank. 
could be a very one-sided game. If Pronexus not get far, then Void Ray is useless. Where is Pronexus right now? Uh, here is bot uh, she is bottom way. Yeah. Trying to get that far. And they have FF, or they have F. Yeah, the red team has FFB, but they don't have an Arbiter to uh, set the stasis. And so, yeah, neither Frigate has gone nuke yet. Uh, White Zombie has gone Rip Wave, and Pseudo has gone uh, Rapid Reload. But when, when do you think that you should... Has nuke. What was that? Uh, the Battle Cruiser has uh, nuke already. Then. Of course! Of course the Battle Cruiser has nuke at 6 minutes. I mean, would this be a Saber 6 versus a uh, Crystal Battle Cruiser without a nuke at 6 minutes? I mean, in the past three games, we have seen nearly 100 nukes go off, I think. Something, something like that. <laughs> Baby is diving in very deep. He is very low health. This is not a good position for him. Actually, Marshall X, if they would have... Okay, there's the nuke. Oh, there's the nuke. Yeah, but that, that can't kill even if it has. And it, it won't kill him, it won't kill him, but uh, if the, the nuke wouldn't have been there, they could have just turned uh, turned and killed the Levy. Yeah, and that got so Red Team some a, farm too. It was too. a very good nuke actually, yes. Colossus, I think, got over 100 farm off that nuke. <laughs> it's the farming nuke. <laughs> farming nuke, yes. <laughs> you don't see this every game, but farming nuke is a very is good uh, investment. Uh, Technosol Destroyer already has protective field and repair bots and the 1000 life ups, 5 armor, so you see he's very tanky already. But the protective field has no upgrades yet, I think. Or maybe the 50 upgrade, I don't I don't play Destroyer very often. No, what he the, doesn't have Yeah, Klaus has just got scan and nuke, so he would actually be drifting to 3 shot farm if, if he stayed out another minute there. He has not, he kind of just went with this 1-1-1 one, one, one thing and then he has not gotten any more missile ups. He's just nuke. He's a one, one trick pony at the moment. Yeah, well, that's another weird upgrade. Why would you upgrade your lasers for just one? Because he wanted to spend all his minerals. And actually, in terms of DPS, if you're up against a no armor ship, then the single laser upgrade is actually okay. Um, it, it's really a, the the problem with laser upgrades tends to be when you're up against a a dreadnought or a leviathan where it quickly becomes completely irrelevant. But up against you know like a frigate, um, a few laser upgrades will will kind of keep up with the uh, the missile upgrades at least initially, until you get things like rapid reload and other stuff. Also get quick reload and. Level 8 missiles. He's hurting the Leviathan. Yes, for armor, but it only reduces 14 damage, so not that much. Just yep. uh, 116 per shot, that means just 700 damage every time he shoots this Leviathan. Yeah, Pornexus' beam didn't. is still at 0.43. So he's not a super scary BR quite yet. You have to, to, to look at the farm of Pronexus, he's uh, not only behind Bled, what ship is Bled on? Uh, Bled is on the, uh, on the Colossus. The Colossus has gotten the, mo the most farm for the blue team. He's invested it in the Thermal Lands and Recharge Shields, level 6 shields, 1 missile, 2 lasers, 3 speed. Yeah, he wants to get up that level 10 shield, so he just started working on it early. But I think that it only works with. Uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Terran, ter Terran shields. I'm. I've been playing too much Star Battle today. Colossus. I can't even keep track of which ship I'm looking at. <laughs> Colossus uh, got locked down. Now oh, he's lo locking down the Void Ray. Uh, <laughs> you're now you're doing it though. You're, oh no, wait, you're right, Colossus. Who's playing a battle cruiser? He's talking about Colossus shit. <laughs> <laughs> Confusing. Confusing. Like Colossus yeah, and Colossus is Colossus. locking down. I, I, I mean, it was kind of helpful when Raven was playing a Raven, but when, when Colossus <laughs> yeah, is true. playing a battle cruiser, it's just confusing. Raven thief playing Raven. That's so 
would really have loved to see uh, Guardians uh, neural, neural Parasite work in this tournament. Well, Guardian, the, yeah, I mean, you, uh, you, you guys were the ones running the, the Guardian. And maybe we'll feel it tomorrow again. We don't know. No, no, there is no one else seems to like the Guardian right now. Too many carriers and void rays. Yeah, actually, Insane Logic also plays the Guardian, but they put, uh, they put them uh, mid lane. I think putting the Guardian mid lane is a very good decision right now. Because of the increased farm, you still get enough to actually uh, you, you utilize uh, Brood Lords if you want to. Mm -hmm. If there is no carrier or whatever. I, I feel like Colossus is like Elmer Fudd right now. He's like, be very, very quiet. I am hunting Void Rays. But what's he gonna do to the void where if he catches him? He'll lock him down, but his rest of the team is already like going back, and so all There's he has is nuke. Like if, if uh, Pernexus had somehow you know set up a warp trick right there, I feel like they had like a short window there where they actually could have picked off Colossus. But that would have required Raven a lot said of coordination. That he has enough for blackout. He's go gonna buy blackout now. Ooh. Probably that would be the expectation, but you never can tell. Oh, yep, there it is. And you will see some interesting blackout play here. Thunder has his Bane fusion. Pseudo, what are you oh, doing? Where's, where's your fusion, Pseudo? Everyone else has a nuke, except Bane. Wait, Bane doesn't have any White abilities White Zombie yet. doesn't have a nuke. He <laughs> only has a Rave and level 9 missiles. Yeah, and White. I, I like, I was kind of okay with the 2-2 the two, two before, like, I know you guys were like, what, the, what is this, but 6 lasers and 3 OBFs at this point, when there's no enemy coloss or a carrier, seems a little excessive. And 3 OBFs is uh, best to waste. By anything, you can just save, uh, save, save the money for the next up. See, the buy... game has 6 lasers, come on. All you need is two at this point. That's... Yeah, and it's like, like going up against a, a Dreadnought, those lasers are doing nothing. Like a lockdown here would have been so significant. Like a huge battle going Yeah, he right has now. nothing else. He's just going missiles, lasers, two armor. Come on. Shield's fine, because you need to get to ten eventually. Led got uh, invulnerability field already, so he really wants to tank those nukes that are going to come from the red team. There aren't. Uh, there is only one nuke. <laughs> I think he expects the frigates to. No, there's two nukes. nukes. Colossus has a nuke, and uh, Thunder has a fusion. So there's one nuke and one fusion. I I only see the new from the battlefield. I don't see any uh, uh, fusions on the frigates. Yeah, there is no frigate fusions on the red team. Yeah, not on the red team. Thunder on the blue team has a fusion. So there's oh, one okay. there's yeah. one nuke on each team. That was a good EMP. No, that Colossus is taking some damage, but... Punished for not buying hardened shields. Right he does have he's... his ultimate, which is not going to help him when he's blacked out, but, uh... But the Raven blacked out the own best for two, so... Yeah, and it's on cool They can't really kill him. Uh, this is, you know, like a, a I, I got sent this replay by Cherry Coke on this game of uh, Void Ray vs. Uh, what was it? I think it was RBC, and I was like, it's kind of tricky. But Raven BC, I think, is pretty good for dealing with Void Ray. Like, Ben really makes very strange decisions. He bought missile pods. Those are like farming missile pods. There is no scourges. There is no PDDs on the enemy team. There, there's, there's 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 nothing you you can use the the, the missile pods against. It's like I said, 
It's for the phantom carrier. There's a phantom invisible carrier on the red team that he is playing against. <laughs> nah, he's just... I play pub a lot, and I know his play. He's just... Make strange decisions, yes. Uh, yeah, but let's not say everyone that understands. He's most of the 80% first to die. No, no, what it is is that he's just been playing these two hour long games and he's like, okay, nothing's gonna happen for the first half hour of this game. I can just do all and my so farming this ups. Is a farming game. Nice. <laughs> farming ups, yes. I always make fun if uh, someone in house goes for farming ups. <laughs> but even Dread. Whoa, Marshall that's stall X, on Marshall. He has. Three lasers. He got EMP, he, can, he can't use his protective field, but he's level 7 armor. It's... Yeah, he, 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 and they have a matrix up, so. But that, that was a that was a lot of unnecessary damage right there, just from that stall. So, Lokuaz, you aren't the only one that stalls. I mean, if there had. If the positioning had been any worse, Marshall really could have died right there with a stall like that. The entire He just stalled again. Out. Oh my goodness. Go home, Dreadnought, you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his team is probably like, okay, once, fine, but not twice. Not, not twice on the same back. <laughs> yeah, on the yeah. same back, now we have just a, click. Now we have a fusion torpedo on uh, Pseudophanes too. And the other frigate went mines. Yeah, or he bought see, the right mines. They see how easy it is to shoot at the base right now? It's not gonna kill nobody, but it's just they're gonna sit there longer and regen. Shoot the fusion at the base. Sometimes it's a good, it's a good move, yes. Yeah, so yeah, red team has you, three you, nukes available right now. Blue t blue team only has has just no, they have no nukes up right now. Does uh? Biotin got bioplasma discharge too. If the Colossus also gets Yamato and the other frigates get get iron, they can do very, very much damage with one single, like in very short amount of time. Hmm. On the Raven. Now someone was thinking this this frigate was going to warp in on the the BC and Colossus was going to be in danger. Ooh, but now it's Bane, Bane that's going to be. Bane is get very much damage. Yeah. Nexus can save he's not him. quite up to that 10 shields yet. He's killing the other team. And he's warping top to uh, attack the Dreadnought Technozoo. Where is he warping? No, he didn't warp. Oh, okay. It, was it cancelled or uh, did he get attacked? Have you seen it? Watch top lane. Warp. Yeah, there's... Also, something is happening there. Level 10 beam and level uh, and 100. No, oh, 100. Start to become dangerous. One charge up and four beam speed. Very can avoid ray it can kill. For the Leviathan, he just has Scythe, Bioplasma Discharge, and Acid Spray. He doesn't have enough for Frenzy yet. He doesn't have very high level 10s. He is, it's 25 minute mark, and he only has level 5 10s. Usually, you want to go one shot 10s on the Levy. And if you play against Carrier, you even want to have even more 10s. He decided to go Bioplasma Discharge. Yeah, I, I don't know. I've seen like a couple of levies staying on two-shot farm today in different games, and I think it. That decision. You want to get your uh, tentacles up because yeah, a lot of when you keep activate f focusing when you activate so frenzy, yeah. when you activate frenzy, that doubles all your damage. So if you have like level five tens, they hurt like level ten tens, and if you have level eight bio swarm, it hurt, it hurts like level sixteen bio swarm. Even higher, I think it's uh, because you start with uh, some damage before upgrading. But you know, partly what I think it might be is that um, 
Corruption scales with Bioswarm, right? So I think some people might be getting Bioswarm to go with Corruption, but Lokroz does not have Corruption, so I, I can't use yeah, that the as a red. Is, the problem is he, he got level 12, uh, 12 uh, health up, and he didn't get 10. He, he, he should have rather went level 12 10 and level 5 life. That's the point. Red not. Second yeah, but, fight. but the other the fusion. Oh! Yeah. Fusion comes in just as Blood Warps in. But he has his, his ultimate up now. But there's... there's Nukes dropping left and right, but... As has happened in these... these lo the, in three of the last games... No kills are going to come out of it. Level 1 mines aren't going to be activated right now, probably. Even though it is, you know, such nice positioning. But with with only level 1, you know, do you really want to activate them right here? It, it was a very dangerous mo a moment for Marshall X, actually, because he didn't buy emergency shield yet. And usually you just want to have this upgrade on the Dreadnought. It gives you an additional... Uh, 3,000 lifers, so there's something about that. If you have level 10 shields, you get a ton of life. If, you, if your emergency shields activate, then your uh, total amount of life is higher. So it's a very good upgrade for just 100 minerals. Always get this on a, on a dreadnought. Yeah. Although, both dreads do have 12 gats now, so there's 400 damage a second. All the time. Not quite as scary as the uh, the Void Ray, but you know, right now that's that's you know, if uh, Pornexus doesn't have his charge up, that's actually more damage than the base prismatic beam of the Void Ray. And that's what I'm asking myself. Dude. They have a Dreadnought, and they have uh, he's playing against the Void Ray. Always get uh, Chargers and bombardment there. It's very very important. Well, he, he's actually not often in the same lane as the Void Ray. He's, he's often but more. It, but it doesn't matter if if you're playing against if, if enemy team is Void Ray, even if you're not standing against uh, against him, at least get bombardment. Whoa, even that if, positioning uh, on Bane! Mm -hmm. If he eats this nuke, that could be very dangerous. But for Nexus, uh, he, he's going to get out there. Can. Yeah, he eats the nuke, but they couldn't keep the gats on him safely. Red team has blackout ready too. Raven has already level 10 shields, 550 energy, level 4 lasers, 1 armor. Blackout, matrix, matrix, uh, or 100. He needs only one uh, matrix up. Uh, now Lokuaz has corruption, so this is where it will oh, scale yes, better definitely. with the Bile Swarm, right? Because with each Bile Swarm, that's now 8% bonus damage. Right. And it starts at twenty twenty five percent, and then every single bio swarm gives you one percent more. So right now it's like thirty three percent. Thirty three percent, yeah, uh, yeah. So I think that's kind of the logic behind the bio swarm upgrades. Um, but yeah, I mean at thirty two minutes, I I would usually expect the, more than five tentacles. I remember the old forum, and there was a topic about the Leviathan, and uh, there were some calculations about the damage. They found out that uh, for every four uh, tentacle upgrades, you have to buy three bile upgrades. That maximizes the damage for the Leviathan. There is no, there is no reason to get to go higher uh, biles than um, tentacles. I mean, he has 11 range, so he's been imagining himself as kind of like a missile boat Leviathan, I guess. Right now, I, I also usually play with uh, range for 200. I, I rarely buy the 400 range upgrade because I just usually go for a little bit of speed and then I activate Frenzy and I get into my into the range that I want. And so now Fire. the mines are level 9. Well, this, this, there could be a big engage here pretty soon here with these mines now having... You know, 670 damage for mine. If the positioning gets right, this could suddenly go very wrong for the blue team. Bane does not have scan, and that would be their best counter to mines right now. Uh, he does not have Yamato, so he's, he has been getting, he's been working into energy finally. 
but uh, right now their only anti mine is is imp from uh, from ghost, and that's not really a very effective anti mine ability. Also, Bane upgraded level uh, level thirteen uh, missiles without buying one single uh, missile amount up. Usually you, you go like level five missiles and you buy one up, then go down. Yeah, 10 I mean, I, I think what we're saying, he, he just, you know, he doesn't have the the upgrade path. Uh, he's not familiar with the BC upgrade path for in-house yeah. games. So is that new? Yeah, the new hits. Marshall is blacked out. He can't use his uh, matrix. Uh, Ghost does have defensive matrix up for him, but there is. But he has to be Bio? careful here. Look, Roz drops his uh, bioplasm discharge on the destroyer. Oh, there is a very, very big very blackout. Nice yeah. Oh, and Marshall, what what did Marshall go down to? Oh, he got hit by a nuke. I, I looked away for a second. I didn't even see the nuke go off. But oh man, that was just a, a split lane push. And now they can even safely back because they're just going to go straight into the minefield. Like last game was nukes missing left and right for the entire game, but this one, this time, a few nukes landed at just the right time, and that picked off some of the best fed ships in the game. Marshall had 900 farm, and so losing, all right, yeah, uh, Bled had 900 farm, so losing him really just cut out basically a. a they, they they lost both their, their tanks. They didn't really do much anymore. The other team has a battle cruiser with scan and the Raven with EMP and blackout. So, Void Ray, I mean, he, he can blink like from the blackout, but then there is still scan and lockdown. Yep. And yeah, I, I guess, you know, they, they, they don't have two denies, so I feel like when it's Raven BC, the BC needs to. To get some amount of control, like he needs, uh, not he doesn't need scan necessarily. Although scan actually would have been nice here because of the mines, which he doesn't know about. I think. Uh, do you think he knows about the mines? I think it imp hit them once, but I'm not. I'm not entirely sure if he knows about them. Actually, yeah, I saw Raven, hit, uh, the Raven thief, hitting his own mine. So I don't know if they saw that. Yeah. But I feel like at 35 minutes. With Raven as the sole support, Battle Cruiser usually wants lockdown. Yeah, I mean, uh, you think about what they ended up dying to. Well, they died to to a nuke. They died to a, a ship that could have been denied by the Battle Cruiser that that wasn't. Um, uh, he's gonna extend. use mines right now. Nope, nope. You, you, uh, kind of surprising that the mines didn't pop right there. Wait. These are the yeah, they have 90 mines. They already do mines almost a thousand. Yeah, almost uh, a thousand. Oh, there is a nuke. That's probably not gonna hit. And even if it does, it's not gonna do anything. Yeah, if it does, it doesn't. Not gonna do any damage. Just take it like a man. Do <laughs> you live on the street? I always hear sounds from the road. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's sirens or something again. No, no, the sirens are where I live. I'm sorry, I'm living. Oh, I'm surprised it wasn't students. me. I, I, I get sirens all the time. I have to mute myself constantly, but sometimes I forget. This I know. is a great tip. Great tip. I should start doing that too. They have 80 mines. Four, four tops, yeah, man, that's, uh, that, that is a minefield right there. Level 19, four tabs of mines. And guess what? Guess what? Bane does not have scan. He doesn't even have lockdown. That's... And that's, there, I mean, I can, I can, like, I, I can kind of see why he wouldn't necessarily get scan at this point. Um, even though, uh, I mean, if he was really observant, he should. If, if he's talking to the Raven, he should. But not having lockdown against, you know, Dreadnought and Frigate, I, I feel like... 
I, I don't agree with that decision. I think Pornexus earlier could have taken down uh, Frigg. Sudafin. What was that? Uh, Colossus is also very low down here. If they would tell that to Pornexus, he could just go there and kill him. The, other, the rest of the team is too far away. He, uh, he, uh, the, uh, he is down to 8,100 life. Yeah, and the Raven even right has now, Blackout up, so if he just dropped Blackout on the, the uh, Raven or the Frigate, then uh, Pronexus could really die very, very hard onto Colossus. Right now, he has to warp on Bane. Yes, he's doing it, he's doing it. He's but, but Bane isn't, isn't pursuing. And uh, the Raven is already there. Yeah, it, it, the moment of opportunity so has passed. And, and now Pronexus is about to fly into a minefield. Oh, oh he's going to back out. Not yeah, because of the minefield, but because of the, uh, the forget. Raven. And the Raven. Now Bane could be in a lot of trouble here if this if this if uh, tech catches up to him. Nuke will peel him though. Pronexus is gonna get some beam going on. Some beam action. Oh, no, dodge the blackout, Ooh. very nice. Nice. That was a gorgeous blink right there. Now, this is, they're, now they, this is the lure. And now they this have is going to be very and interesting. The, and the other team doesn't. But they are going right into the minefield. The raven is about to blow up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, raven. They just they, destroyed their mine. Oh no, they didn't destroy it. They just were. They're timing out. Yeah, a lot of. Oh, there it goes. No, not that way, ghost. Not that way. <laughs> <laughs> that um, was crazy. <laughs> that was a nice move, yes. This minefield, he set it up for 15 minutes. He was setting up those mines. More and than that. And they even, yeah. they even more. I think he started. And then it finally paid out. Feels oh. like he opened mines. <laughs> Not, not quiet, but... Hey, it worked, right? Yeah, whatever gets the job done. So what? what is... I mean, we got 22 rockets with 11 range and rip wave and, and quick reload. I mean... You know, a little bit of bad positioning here and red team could still overcommit on something. They, they still have a lot of damage on the blue team. They still have a lot of rockets everywhere. The Pronexus just has to dodge everything all the time, flawlessly. And it's, it's pretty hard to do that. I mean, Bane's... And the problem is that Bane is playing so strange. They have to lock down the the Raven and the Destro and the Battle Cruiser. They have to lock down everyone. I, I mean, if you lock down the Raven, then all Pronexus would have to do would be to, 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 to dodge a lockdown. And you can maybe do something. But with no lockdown on either the, the Raven or the BC. And there's just... I mean, Pornexus just can't do that. It's... it's. Not, you, you, you can't win a tournament match, match, match uh, 3 versus 6. They, they have support and everyone... Yeah, left, but I, I mean, it was more like 10 minutes... I think it was more like 20 minutes ago that, that they needed to pick up lockdown at that point. Like, yep. around the 20 minute mark is where he definitely needed lockdown. And he went to 35 minutes with, with really uh, only Yamato and uh, Pods. And that's when the game really started to turn against them. I mean, they, they were down at that point, but that's where it just got out of control. It was still, I mean, it was still a good game. Uh, you know, there were still great plays, you know, but it, there were great plays that Definitely had to be made by Pornexus because there was no energy denial and there was no control from the red team at that point. It was all on the Raven to do everything to, to make 